Yo, what is going on guys? NRUK Racing League here and welcome to the Mick George series, the third round of the season. We are coming to you live from the Las Vegas Motor Speedway in what should be a, an interesting race to uh, go off of. It's round three here coming to you and uh, we're going to see who's going to pick up a win today and which driver is going to see themselves in victory lane for the first time this season. Without further ado, let's get into your starting lineup then. So on the pole is the 60 of James Earnhardt. To 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 his outside the three, that is Matt Hamill. Then we have Sam Picard who came all so close at winning Atlanta last race weekend out to his outside Hamill's teammate Sebastian Dupain. Then behind them we have Alexander Rowe in the 98 and Mathis Wells in the 18. Behind them, Harry Young and Ethan Matheson. Then we have Austin Jacobs and Desmond Allen. Following up on the next row, Eli Bright starts with Mark Owens. Then we have the 12 of Ryan Dalton and the double zero, that is Daniel Voyles. Up next then is the 22 of Roger Ray and Colton Yo. followed by the 19, that's Gary Barlow, and the 23 of Jordan Goodwin. Following up on the next row is Simon Bloomfield and Larry Hagan. With up next, Last week's winner, Brandon Morris, who starts alongside the 39 of Hans Device. Up next, we have the 4 of Austin Murray. The 28 is William Seaman. Up next, the, the 0 of Eric Monaco. Then we have the 51 of Zachary Fitzwalt Sr. Followed up by next, the 01 of Ryan Butcher. And the 15 of Ward Gordon. Next then is the 10 of TJ Smith and the 36 of Zachary Delello. Then we have the 11 of Peter on Jack and the 61 of Jake Rogers. Jordan Thompson is up next with the 38 of Jack Legacy. Then we have the 93 of Franz Device. 8 of Luke Graney. The 35 is Jack Halleck. The 76 is Patrick Zyke. And the final row, the 99 is Mac Johnson. And the 90 is Dion Moon. So James Earnhardt then in the 60 for Roush Fenway Racing. The ever dominant Roush Fenway Racing have picked up, picked up the first two cup races of the season. They're now looking to get their McGeorge campaign underway. Earnhardt has a pretty good shot at it today. Uh, the three car, three Roush Fenway cars in the field. Points leader coming in to this race is Brandon Morris with that win. James Earnhardt is also currently locked into a playoff spot. Uh, the drivers that are just currently hanging below include the likes of Eli Bright, Desmond Allen, Luke Rainey, to name a few, that um, are looking to put their way inside to a playoff berth. However, it is a very early on in this season so far. We've got a lot of races to go, but a win early on the early doors and get it on the board early means that you will. You know, you have that guaranteed spot locked down in the playoffs unless, of course, we get more than 12 different winners or 12 different full-time winners this season. So, James Earnhardt for Rush Fenway Racing. They're looking to pick up another win today. The Mustangs have been pretty strong. Have not, well, not been strong at all, really, this year. It's been more of a Chevy versus Toyota battle, but which of... Can they break that duck today? Matt Hamill, Dupayne, Picard are going to look to change that. Here we go then. To, to kick off round number three and to kick off race weekend in Vegas. James Earnhardt leads on the pole. And the pace car leads him down. Makes the sharp left hand turn towards pit road. James Earnhardt, green flag in the air, we're racing in Vegas. And it's a good start for Earnhardt in two turn number one. James Earnhardt leads, fantastic launch down the backstretch. They will race into turns three and four for the first time. James Earnhardt. Has a solid start in that 60 car off of turn number four. He's going to lead lap number one. Sam Picard into second. Picard was so dominant at Atlanta. He was must have felt gutted not to have that own win 
on the board. He got stolen away from him by his teammate Brandon Morris. Picard's going to look to avenge that win today or, you know, re-get that winning momentum, book his spot in the chase. But Erna has a comfortable lead. Picard in second. The Richard Childers teammates battling out for third. That's Sebastian Dupain, who's not had the greatest starts the season. He needs a few better consistent runs so far. And the three of Matt Hamill, Harry Young, joining the party for Junior Motorsports as they all fan it out down at the backstretch. Front two are clear. Can Picard work on the 60? Work him down. Just maybe waiting for the 60 to play some mistake. Is is early on here. Only on lap number three of 27. All 40 cars did get off the grid all fine this time. Which is good. And Picard now is going to look on the low side. Cannot find an opening this time. Going to be patient here. Going to wait his time. And in now the front three have a clear breakaway. Single file. It's Earnhardt in first. Second for Sam Picard. Third, Sebastian Dupain. Mathis Wells up into fourth. Third, fifth for Matt Hamill. Then Harry Young and Alexander Rowe. The final car in this breakaway front field here. Here comes Dupain now forcing the issue. For second. Sebastian Dupain. Can he hold on? Wells looking on the inside in the 18. He does. Earnhardt comfortable in the 60 so far. Dupain into second. Third is Sam Picard. We see Matt Hamill. Here comes Desmond Allen. What a run through the turn for the 20 team. Joe Gibbs have had a winner this year. However, it was Mathis Wells at Daytona in a part-time car. Not actually a uh, full-time uh, running or not point running uh, car front two now having a nice clear breakaway here Picard has got clear of Hamill in fourth fifth is the 98 of Alexander Rowe Allen up to sixth and behind them we have the likes of Mark Owens Owens has had a shocker starts the season Chip Ganassi racing not ha have not had the uh, form that they would have liked coming into this one however they now do lead out they don't lead, but they're having a better run. Uh, a much more improved run, for sure. Here, and they're doing a nice job so far. However, here we go for the lead. Sebastian Dupain, Richard Childers Racing. Look low, however, the inside line through three and four. Does not seem to place to be the middle groove working quite well, as you saw Sam Picard flew through there, followed the 16 as path and he reclaims second place. Hamill now battles out for third and the front two have cleared away once again. And through the turn they go. Now Depayne back into second. He has a good car. That too for RCI. They've set him up well today. If they can avoid having any sort of issues. They're looking solid for a top 10, a top 5. It'll be a good rebound for that team. However, Earnhardt has dominated every single lap so far. He's been leading out front. No one can get close to the 60 for Raj Fenway Racing so far. Picard into second. Third is Dupayne. Now they continue to battle it out. Dupain back up to second. This is where the main key battle is happening right now. The rest of the drivers are following behind. But now he falls off going through that turn. Hamill up to third. And in the lead right now, James Earnhardt continues to lead. Here comes Matt Hamill to the inside. It has not worked any time so far. Hamill's going to let's change difference to that. It does not work. And you can see the higher groove carries them through. Look at Mark Owens with a run up to third now. 42 car finally having a better day for those guys. Now can Picard work on the leader here? It's been Earnhardt all the way round so far.
And Earnhardt will lead this lap once again. Top four now, single file. It's Picard, Owens on the inside as well. There is the three of Matt Hamill, Dupayne up next. Then there's Alexander Rowe, Harry Young, Austin Jacobs. Good race so far today for the 23 of Jordan Goodwin, who has made him has made stellar progress up through the field. Nice job from the 23 team so far. They've been having a good day at the office. Picard in second there. Earnhardt now increases his advantage again. Here is Picard in to second. Third is Hamill. Fourth then. A massive colossal battle now is heated up here between the likes of Dupain. Jacobs. Oh, is there a car in the wall back there? It seems like there was. Who is it? Someone has pulled down low. They hit the wall there. It's the 22 of Roger A for Penske Racing. Who have had an abysmal start to this season. Ray smacked the wall there. Saw it happen. He saved it. Luckily avoided not taking anyone else out of that wreck. But it has now divided this group in 2-2. But that could have been very, very risky indeed. Dupain now coming up back through to second. But the, but the 60 leads out in front so far. But it's Earnhardt and Picard who have been the dominant... Dominoes, <laughs> the dominant cars of the day so far. Third is Dupain. Now he's had a good car. Austin Jacobs, for the first time into the top five today. Roush Fenway having such a good day, but now they are under increased pressure from the seven and the two. The two goes low though for second. That's not going to help their cause in getting towards the 60. Dupain down low. But it's James Earnhardt who continues to dominate. Here, his lead is ever increasing. Here, and it's looking very tasty indeed. By RCR, finally they're having a good day in the in the Mick George series. Dupain is up to second, Hamill in to third, as we now have only just a few laps to go. Can anyone beat? The 60 of James Earnhardt. It does not look likely. And there's a caution out on the track. Caution out on the track. It's Sam Picard who's gone around. Unbelievable. This will be the race from here maybe. James Earnhardt will lead us back. I think to a caution flag here. No he doesn't. But Picard has gone spinning. Oh no it is out. It is out now. It's a massive wreck down the front stretch. On his roof sliding across the line. That is the four of Austin Murray and all the Flex Seal cars caught up in this one. Zachary Delello and the four goes tumbling again. Picard had spun out. Roger Ray is involved in this one. And now the caution is out this time by Earnhardt leads them back to the caution and probably the race win there. It will finish under caution. They almost hit the zero. Oh, and Mark Owens does. Owens was having such a good day. I don't think it's an... I think he doesn't have enough damage to stop him from coming down pit road. He probably will stay out on track. But a manic few moments here. And it looks like uh, James Earnhardt, who has dominated the day here, is going to be your winner. 
with he's led every single lap. It's been as dominant as you would like. But a whole host of incidents here have occurred. And this is what happened. We'll first go and take a look at the 22 of Roger Ray. He must have hit the wall. And we'll get back to you to cover every single incident that we have seen here. And in fact, it wasn't the 22 of Roger Ray who hit the wall here. As you see, Ray is coming off the turn here. He's running a very nice top 10 position right now. Something just breaks on the 22 car and in dramatic decrease of speed. And here's Jordan Goodwin. He gets shunted into the wall by the 21 of Bloomfield. That's the car that hit the wall there. So just summon 40 on the 22. Sends him down pit lane. Ruins what would have been a good day for Penske Racing. And that was the first incident. The second incident was the 7 of Sam Picard. Who had such a good day. I might have, I might have clearly missed this. Something happened to the 7 who was running such a good race. And I'm surprised the caution didn't come out for this either. And as you can see he just, got he just gets taken out here. I did not even realise it. That is my fault on behalf of the commentary team. And you see, out of the turn here, he just gets turned by the 16 of Jacobs up into the wall. And again, into the 16, both of them go spinning down the racetrack. I'm surprised the caution did not come out for this. The NRUK officials deciding, uh, going against. Um, bringing out a caution there. And they go sliding, flying down pit road. And then the second incident must have happened up here. It involved a lot of the flex seal cars here, including there's this group here. It was Monaco, Murray, and Ward Gordon who must have all gone around here off the turn. Ah, here we go. It's again the 16 of Austin Jacobs. He's not going to be in people's good books right now. Off the turn, you see he's already turned sideways by the zero of Monaco. Up the trap they go, straight into his teammate, the 15. Into the four, into Delello, and up on his roof, sliding across the line. Goes the four of Austin Murray. There's a bit of damage there for Jonathan Thompson. Jack Halleck also getting involved. And here comes the 22, Roger A, who had already had a bad day, already a lap down in last position. His day goes. From bad to worse here. See charging down the front stretch here. And here we go. He absolutely destroys the 15 right into the back of him. Up into the wall. And down they go. And all of those are going to be taken out from this one. Picard makes it through. But I think James Earnhardt here is going to be your race winner. And here we see it's not going to get restarted. So... James Earnhardt, dominant car of the day for Roush Fenway Racing, led every single lap of the way. No one could match him. James Earnhardt is going to come off a turn four under caution. It's not how he would love to want it, but he dominated today. Roush Fenway Racing is going to pick up another win this early on in the season. And Earnhardt goes to victory lane for the first time this season. Earnhardt wins at Vegas as the rest of the field crawl across the line. Here are the finishing results then. You can see on the top right of the screen. Point standings will be posted in our Discord. And that is the complete results from round number three. Catch you at round number four in a few days time. Where we go live from Rockingham Motor Speedway. Till next time. Thank you for watching the NRUK McGeorge series. And we'll see you for another video very soon. Bye-bye.